The drivers then are lined up on the grid, ready to go for the final of the supercars here for round two of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship at Lyndon Hill. It's Ollie Bennett, round one winner on pole position with the 2021 champion Derek Tohill alongside. Six-time champion Julian Godfrey is alongside him on the outside of the front row. Patrick O'Donovan lines up alongside father Ollie on row two with uh, Tristan Ovenden on the ins on the outside of the third row of the grid. He has got Steve Hill and Don Flitney for company. Ready to race board though is on. Anti-lag is on. The final for round two here at Lyndon Hill is underway. Good start from Bennett. Great start from Toe Hill off the front row of the grid. Not bad at all from Paddy O'Donovan as he leapfrogs himself up into third place. Three drivers go joker as we go through Chesson Strip for the first time, but it's Ollie Bennett with the advantage. Paddy O'Donovan's getting all sorts of sideways. That pushes Ovenden out wide on the exit of Chesson Strip as well and leaves him with a lot of work to do. But it is the round one winner, Ollie Bennett, who continues where he left off on Saturday here on Bank Holiday Monday in the lead of the race with the last year's champion, Derek Tohill for company, very close behind as they come down the bottom of the hill for the first time. Now we've got a skirmish full of drivers as Ollie O'Donovan gets up the inside of his son, Patrick. They were running side by side on the exit of the corner. There's Tristan Ovenden right behind Steve Hill. There's Julian Godfrey. There is Ollie O'Donovan, who's jokered. Patrick O'Donovan, who hasn't jokered, is right behind Ollie. So clearly those first lap dramas were more severe than we thought for Patrick as uh, Tristan Ovenden goes joker at the top of your shot. So, a very exciting start then here in the final, and there is Ollie Benny getting it really sideways through the devil's elbow. He just about keeps it on the straight and narrow, four-wheel drifting, that mini. And I was talking to Derek Tohill earlier, I said, that mini's an absolute rocket, isn't it? And he said, yeah, it is. We're really throwing everything we can to try and get ourselves ahead, but it's so difficult because Ollie's a really good driver, and of course, he's got a very fast car underneath him, which will certainly help as well. So the only three drivers who haven't jokered are the top three. That is Ollie Bennett, Derek Tohill and Steve Hill who just go through your picture there now. Nose to tail we run between the top two. Julian Godfrey sitting in fourth place. Of course, we've got the joker laps that all need to play out between these drivers here as well. So let's see how that is going to change the complexion of this race. Bennett though comes up the hill. He's trying to stretch that gap out to Derek Tohill in second position. It was six tenths of a second over the timing line last time around. And as he slides his way out of the north bend and down the bottom of the hill, it may have increased by a couple of tenths of a second or so, but certainly not a gap enough for Bennett to be resting on his laurels in this race. Over the line they come once more and continue on their normal lap, so not jokering at this particular point. The gap was up to 1.1 seconds over the timing line. There is Don Flitney in the 47. He's having a bit of a quiet race further down the order. And sadly, it looks like we've lost Patrick O'Donovan by the looks of things. And also, there, Tristan Ovenden. Looks like broken left front suspension from what I can see from him because he's crabbing along the grass. And that's a dramatic end to the Kent Bates drivers race in the 72 in the Citroen DS3. If it's not suspension, it certainly is a technical problem for Ovenden. No such problems, though, for the 42 of Ollie Bennett as he comes through the final series of corners at the end of lap number four. So across the line we go, and Tohill goes joker at the start of lap five then. So that's sensible there for him. He wants to try and run himself in clear air. I don't know if he's going to have the pace to overhaul Ollie Bennett at the front of this one, but certainly he'll be on for a good podium finish. And as we're not expecting Ollie to be competing in all of the rounds here of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship, it'll be a welcome result to him to get uh, a couple of podiums and elevate his championship chances as much as he can later on this season. That's the thing with Rallycross, it's incredibly unpredictable. As you know, from one weekend you can have an absolute stonker, and then the other weekend you can have an absolute stinker. And we've seen that round by round in the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship multiple times. There is Derek Tohill as he comes through the bottom bend. Ollie Bennett goes joker at the start of the final lap then. Where's Tohill going to emerge? It's going to be quite comfortably behind Ollie Bennett as he emerges out of the joker onto the dirt for the last time and on the run down the Dover slope and into the Devil's Elbow. I mean, what can you say about the number 42? Ollie Bennett in the Excite Racing Mini has driven brilliantly all weekend. He won every single heat in round one on Friday. He's won every single heat in round two here on Bank Holiday Monday today as well as his semi-final. And 
he's ready to take the chequered flag in this final as well. He smokes and slides his way through the final series of corners and it's the win for Ollie Bennett in round two of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship here at Lytton Hill. A perfect start to Bennett's 2022 season. Derek Tohill comes home, the bridesmaid in second place. The reigning champion could only do as much as he could and that was second place at the chequered flag and a well-deserved podium for Julian Godfrey in third place for the six-time champion, Ollie O'Donovan in fourth, Steve Hill in fifth, Dom Flitney in sixth. Six drivers finished the race out of the eight that started. We sadly saw a premature conclusion to Tristan Ovenden and Patrick O'Donovan's races after some technical difficulties for those two drivers. But a perfect weekend for Ollie Bennett, a driver who wasn't even supposed to be racing here on Bank Holiday Monday, signs it off with a win once again in the final and a perfect start to his 2022 campaign. As we said, we're not expecting him to complete the full season here in the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. But if he does decide to turn up to some other rounds, he's got a great start to the championship so far. Fantastic.